हेलो एवरीबडी लेट अस सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम ऑन मोमेंट एरिया मेथड सो वी हैव सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम ऑन कैंटली ऑफ बीम्स एंड सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम्स सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज डिफरेंट सो हियर वी हैव कंसीडर्ड अ ओ रैंक पोर्शन ओके दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम विथ ओ रैंक पोर्शन ए टू सी एंड सी डी पोर्शन इज ओ रैंक portion okay so what is the problem statement calculate slope and deflection at free end so which is free end here so point d is the free end that is overhang portion okay what they are asking to calculate what is theta d and what is delta d we need to find the slope at d and deflection at point d okay so you are aware about uh, two theorems moment error theorem 1 and moment error theorem 2 to, to calculate slope and deflection okay so let us draw the elastic curve first so for this overhang portion so simply supported beam due to the application of load it may have the deflection something like this we can assume the elastic curve with overhang portion something like this this is elastic curve okay due to the load it may have the deflection something like this okay so it, it is a typical case okay so on this elastic curve so like uh, previous problems so a uh, simply supported beam with the point load acting at a distance a and b how we have drawn the tangent from any one of the support okay so similarly we need to draw the tangent and we need to proceed with the problem so before that uh, let us uh, draw the bending moment diagram first then we'll have the tangent later okay so what will be the bending moment diagram for this with overhang portion okay so first we need to calculate the reactions to find the moments okay so if i take moment about a equal to 0 equilibrium condition in this particular beam so moment at a equal to 0 i will be getting what is rc correct this is rc and this is ra so moment about a equal to 0 so either consider clockwise positive or anti clockwise positive to calculate the reaction if suppose if i consider clockwise positive this 20 is making a moment a clockwise at a correct so what is that moment 20 into 2 clockwise since clockwise positive this rc due to a moment is anti clockwise minus rc into Four. Then, due to this phi, again it is rotating clockwise. So plus phi into total is six is equal to zero. So you need to calculate R C. That is reaction at C. So twenty two is a forty thirty. So it is seventy divided by four. You will be getting seventeen point five. reaction at c is 17.5 so kilo newton so one more equilibrium condition that is sigma v equal to 0 so upwards will consider positive plus ra plus rc minus 20 and minus 5 equal to 0 so ra equal to 20 25 Minus 17.5, so you'll be getting 7.5. So R A you are getting 7.5 kilonewton. So R A is 7.5 kilonewton. R C is 17.5 kilonewton. Okay. So now we need to draw the bending moment diagram. So the bending moment diagram, if I draw it, okay. so this is a reference line okay so moment at a is zero the simple support which is at the last end so if the simple support roller support or hinge support if it is at the end 
that is end support then movement about that particular support will be zero so similarly movement at d so here it is zero movement at a is zero and movement at d is zero okay so we need to calculate what is the moment at b and what is the moment at c so it is a simply supported beam so if you cut at any particular section from left end and from right end so moment will be same the sign convention cut a section from left end clockwise from right end if it is anti clockwise then it is positive so now if you find the moment at b so what is the moment so from left end so if you consider from left end so which are the loads only reaction so what is the moment about b so 7.5 into 2 how it is rotating anti clockwise it is rotating sorry it is rotating clockwise so here cut a section left hand side clockwise so you are taking moment at b left hand it is also clockwise so it is positive so you are getting at b some value so what is that value so that is 7.5 into 2 so that is 15 so this is 15 correct similarly at c moment at c so i will be considering right hand side what is the moment at c so 5 into 2 that is 10 but how it is rotating clockwise cut a section right hand side it is making the moment clockwise but cut a section from right hand side if it is anti clockwise then it is positive but it is clockwise so it will be negative from here so if i draw it here this value is 10 okay so b to <coughs> c so if i join these two so this is something like this okay this will be your bending moment diagram we got to know so this is 15 by ei so ultimately we want m by er diagram so it is 10 by ei so in this problem they have given the ei constant this is bending moment diagram okay so to calculate the areas of these figures we should be knowing the base and the height so if i consider this triangle i am knowing the base is 2 meters okay this is 2 meters then again if i consider this triangle i know this is 2 meters then again from this point to this point so this is point a this is point c this is point b this is point d from b to c okay from b to c total is 2 meters but what is the base from here to here for this triangle what is the base from here to here for this triangle so we don't know so first we need to calculate that so to calculate that from here to here let us assume it as x okay if total is 2 meters from here to here if it is x so remaining from here to here it will be 2 minus x from here to here it is x so total is 2 so here to here it will be 2 minus x okay first task is to find what is this x okay so both the triangles are having same base okay so from similar triangles if i write something like this what is that so when the base is 2 minus x when the base is 2 minus x height of this triangle is 15 when the base is 2 minus x height is 15 similarly when the base is x height is 10 correct sorry height is 10 so base is 2 minus x the height is 15 when the base is x this height is 10 so if i cross multiply this so what i'll be getting 15 into x is equal to 10 into 2 minus x so 15x 20 minus 10x so this side it will be plus so 25x is equal to 20 so x is equal to 20 divided by 25 uh, it will be 0.8 so you are getting this as 0.8 okay meters so from here to here it is 2 minus x 2 minus 0.8 nothing but 
1.2 so now now i got to know what is the base of this what is the base of this okay such that i can calculate the areas of all the figures okay is that okay okay next so now so we need to uh, look back into the last problem previous problem where we have drawn the tangent from any one of the supports that is a and b depending upon the point load uh, uh, we have drawn the tangent so the same procedure we need to adopt here okay so suppose here i want to find what is theta d okay that is slope at d so i will be taking the reference as point a so then i will draw the tangent at a uh, should i draw once again here the same problem and the tangent okay so just to elaborate this is a this is c okay and this is point is b that is not required this is point is d so the elastic curve will be something like this okay this point is d okay let us call this point as d dash okay if i draw the tangent at a okay if i draw the tangent at a so if i join this okay so let us call this point as d double dash okay this is elastic curve okay then i have drawn this line named these points okay so when you draw the tangent so this angle is theta a that is slope at a okay so this theta a so compared to the previous problem so this figure is looking something like this correct this is theta a from here to here from here to here total is 6 meters and this it is only if i consider from here to here this triangle it is d t double dash or else at point c if i draw this line again okay at point c if i draw the line so if i name this this is c dash okay so again if i consider only this triangle it is something like this this is theta a now the base from a to c it is 4 meters and this is c and this is c dash correct so just uh, recall the previous problems so what we have solved so with respect to that only we are continuing okay so now so i need to find this first okay so what we need to find so let us consider this figure or else this figure so let us consider this figure which is easy okay so this is point a so this is theta a the base is 4 meters what is this this is nothing but tangential deviation of point c with respect to tangent drawn at a t c a is it correct so leo about this consider this or oh, i'm considering a c c dash this triangle this is 4 meters so what is this height this is tangential deviation of point c with respect to tangent drawn at a is it correct okay so here if i find this tca that is nothing but according to moment area theorem 2 what is that tca tca is nothing but moment of m by er diagram between a and c and moment is taken about point c where the deflection is required correct where the deflection is required about point c so if i calculate so what is the bending moment diagram between a and c so point a and point c these are the bending moment diagrams 
so we'll leave this okay so moment about c we need to take it so let us start it here this t c a so moment of m by a diagram between a and c and the moment is taken about point c so let us <coughs> consider these triangles independently so first triangle what is the area of first triangle half into base is 2 meters into height is 15 by ei okay this is the area of this triangle i want moment about c so cz will be somewhere here okay so from this up to this so what is this from b to c it is 2 meters from here to here it is one third of base correct so one third of 2 plus 2 okay so that is for first figure similarly plus second figure what is that this triangle so what is the area of that triangle so i will write it here half into base is 1.2 into height is 15 by er correct then again so what is the moment perpendicular distance is will be somewhere here from this to this okay up to c okay what is that from here to here it is 0.8 from here to here it is two third of two so two third of two plus 0.8 okay these diagrams are positive diagrams okay bending moment is positive so this diagram so these are negative diagrams correct according to the sign convention we have calculated the moment and we got the negative value okay since it is negative so these diagrams will be negative correct so this diagram what is the area of this between this to this that is minus half into base is 0.8 into height is 10 by ei i want the moment about point c so from here to here this distance okay what is that so it is from here to here so from maximum position one third of base it is one third of point it it is negative the first diagram positive this is the first two and this is negative total three figures one two three so simplify this so once you simplify this you will be getting this t c a is equal to 53.33 by ei okay so T C A you are getting 53.33 by E I. Okay. So let us come back to this figure. Okay. A C C dash. We have calculated this. What is that? T C A. Okay. So if you apply okay. If you apply for this triangle this is theta a this is 4 meters and we got this as 53.33 a divided by ei correct so what is this is 90 degrees tan theta so tan theta a is equal to opposite 53.33 by ei that is by ei nothing else by ei divided by so that is space 4 okay so this tan theta a since the angle is small is nearly equal to theta a correct so if you simplify this so you will be getting theta a is equal to 53.33 divided by 4 13.33 13.33 by ei radians so this is slope at a we got what is slope at a correct from this figure so we got to know 
what is the slope at a so ultimately the problem is we need to find what is theta d so once we know any one slope point so then we can apply moment area theorem 1 so what is that moment area theorem 1 so according to moment area sorry moment area theorem 1 it is the change in slope between any two points now one point is known that is at a so we are calculating at d so theta a minus theta d is equal to what area of m by er diagram between a and d area of m by er diagram between a and d which are the m by er diagram so total entire thing 1 2 3 4 total 4 triangles okay so theta a is known that is 13.33 by ei minus theta d is equal to area of m by a diagram so let us start writing the areas of all the four triangles first triangle it is positive half into base is 2 meters into height is 15 by ei so plus second diagram this half into base is 1.2 into height is again 15 by ei then this triangle so that is minus half into base is 0.8 into height is 10 by ei then this triangle that is minus negative half into base is 2 meters into height is 10 by ei so this simplification if you do it so you will be getting the value as 3.33 by ei radians okay so in the question they have asked what is the slope and deflection at free end so now we have calculated what is slope at the free end that is theta t so now we need to calculate what is the deflection at free end now our next task is to find delta d okay so let us come back to this figure so elastic curve figure so what we need to find delta d so delta d is nothing but what so let me start with new page so i will draw this figure once again Okay, so even I will be drawing this bending moment diagram once again. Okay, point A, point B, this is point C, and this is D. So this is 2 meters, this is 1.2 meters this is 0.8 meters and this is 2 meters this height is 15 by ei and this height is 10 by ei okay so now we are calculating what is the deflection at point d okay so this deflection is from the horizontal line it is deflected upwards okay so this is delta d so what we need to find here delta d so how to go ahead with this so this delta d is nothing but 
so we want d d dash only this this can be written in other notations total that is d d double dash minus deduct this d d double dash this d d dash is nothing but this total length minus this length so is that okay d d dash is equal to d dash d double dash from here to here minus d to d dash okay so this is the d d dash okay so this d d dash is upwards okay i will be calling this as negative okay that negative sign is for upward deflection so i will be writing here negative sign for upward deflection okay so now so what is d dash d double dash okay instead of uh, calculating this directly so we'll be taking help of this what is d dash d double dash okay d dash d double dash total so what is this that is nothing but deviation of point d with respect to the tangent at a deviation of point d the original place of d is here after the load the elastic curve is something like this deviation of point d with respect to tangent drawn at a correct from here to here that is the deflection deviation of point d with respect to tangent drawn at a correct that is nothing but t d a that is d dash d double dash then minus okay so this minus i will be putting at the end so d dash d d double dash so what is this d d double dash if you see this figure it is looking something like this triangle this is theta a so from this point a to point d total is 6 meters correct so this d d double dash we are calculating now so this can be written so theta a is already known so tan theta a is equal to d d double dash divided by 6 correct theta tan theta a nearly equal to theta a equal to d d double dash divided by 6 or else d d double dash is equal to 6 times theta a correct so d d double dash is equal to 6 times theta a so 6 times theta a this is d d double dash total thing is negative since upward deflection okay so now calculate this t d a what is that according to moment area theorem 2 okay so this minus sign t d a what is that tangential deviation of point d with respect to tangent drawn at a is given by what moment of m by er diagram between a and d and moment is taken about the point where the deflection is required correct this is t d a minus 6 times theta a theta a already have calculated what was theta a how much you got theta a so theta a you got it as 13.33 by ei okay it is 13.33 divided by er i need to calculate this moment of m by a diagram between a and d and moment is taken about point d so a to d these are the diagrams so i will be starting here so that is delta d minus d d dash is equal to minus an outside so this moment of m by a diagram one by one total four diagrams so cz of this triangle is here so i want from here to here 
CG of this triangle is here from here to here CG of this diagram is here from here to here CG of this from here to here okay the total area is assumed to acting at a CG of that particular diagram and we are calculating moment force into perpendicular distance so first triangle this from here to here so what is that half base is 2 meters and height is 15 by er and distance about point d from here to here so how much is this from here to here it is 4 meters correct from b to d it is 4 meters from a to b it is 2 meters from here to here it is one third correct one third of two so from one third of two plus from here to here it is four meters okay so for this triangle from next triangle so plus what is the area half into base is 1.2 meters into height is again 15 by ei this is the area and from here to this up to point d okay so what is this so from here to here so we know it that is 2 plus 0.8 that is 2.8 from here to here so from here to here how much is this that is from minimum position two third of 1.2 correct so two third of 1.2 plus 2.8 that is for this figure okay i hope you got this total from here to here so from here to here it is 2.8 from here to here it is two third of base then this diagram this is negative triangle minus half into base is 0.8 into height is 10 by ei into perpendicular distance from here to here this is the perpendicular distance how much it is so from here to here it is one third of 0.8 from here to here it is two so total is one third of 0.8 plus two correct so one third of 0.8 plus two so one more figure this triangle again it is negative minus half into base is two meters and height is 10 by ei and perpendicular distance from here to here how much is that from zero position it is two third of base it is two meters two third of two okay so simplify this uh, do the calculation so you will be getting this uh, delta d is equal to uh, around z minus 0 0.02 by ei yeah, almost you are getting zeros okay minus 0 0.02 by ei that neg negative sign indicates the deflection is upwards okay so meters okay check this once again so all the areas whether we have written correctly or no okay then do this calculation just check with the calculator so it should be minus 0 0.02 by ei okay so is that clear so what we have done once again this is the overhang portion problem first we have assumed the elastic curve the deflected shape due to the load so it may have the deflection something like this so then bending moment diagram we have drawn by finding the reactions using equilibrium conditions then we have drawn a tangent from point a because to find the theta d so one slope should be knowing so theta a minus theta d okay so to calculate theta a we have drawn a tangent at a 
that is here tangent that a theta a so depending upon this triangle we have calculated tca then we have calculated what is theta a this procedure according to moment era theorem 2 so once you get uh, this we got what is theta a so once you get theta a then using moment era theorem 1 we found what is theta d so once we found theta d so then our next task is to find that is delta d then again so we are making use of this okay then this is the procedure how we have gone through the problem okay so it is simple but you need to solve this once again such that you will be getting the answers correctly you can understand better okay so one more just assignment problem so similar kind so uh, let us consider a simply supported beam let us consider a simply supported beam subjected to two concentrated loads one is 50 kilonewton so one more is 80 kilonewton 50 and 80 this is point a this is point c this is d and this is b okay so this is three meters this is three meters and this is three meters ei is constant okay so the value of e they have given can let us consider 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 and i it has 8 into 10 raised to 8 this is newton per mm square and this is mm raised to 4 okay so find what is maximum slope and maximum deflection so you need to find the maximum slope and maximum deflection for this problem okay so how we'll go ahead with this problem maximum slope and maximum deflection first you will draw the elastic curve it might be something like this okay so elastic curve then uh, you will draw the bending moment diagram first calculate the reactions you might get the bending moment diagram something like this correct at one point load one moment and at another point load another moment split into triangles okay this triangle this triangle and one rectangle okay so once you do this then the maximum slope so at point a draw the tangent so this is theta a so name the points point b this is b dash or b double dash this is tangential deviation of point b with respect to tangent drawn at a correct so here there is no hard and fast rule that you should draw the tangent from a only or from b only because there are two point loads if only one point load was there then you have drawn the tangent where the distance of that point load is more okay here it is three meters two meters means i will draw the tangent from point a okay so if here three meters here two meters then i will draw the tangent from point b so here all are same so either you can start with point a or else point b anything okay so form this triangle so by this the base is six nine meters so then by calculating this tba depending upon this bending moment diagram so you will calculate theta a okay so you will be getting the value of theta a here as 570 by ei okay so once you get theta a then we need to calculate theta b so that is according to moment era theorem one theta a minus theta b equal to the same area of m by a diagram between a and b okay so you will be getting theta b the theta b value will be getting it as minus 600 by ei 
okay so once you get theta a and theta b you can say uh, what is the maximum slope so this minus sign since we have written theta a minus theta b if you write theta b minus theta a then again it will be changing so you need not worry about this minus sign so ultimately which one is maximum slope the maximum slope is 600 by slope is 600 by er okay then they have asked maximum deflection so here the maximum deflection it is since it is not a symmetrical load so it is it is near to the center not exactly at the center near to the center to do that what you need to do so let us consider somewhere here at a distance x okay from point c you can consider at a distance x it is maximum or else you can consider from point a also it is maximum at a distance x okay then so here you will be getting that distance x so first you need to find what is that x suppose if you consider this as x from point c if you consider the maximum deflection is at x so that is what at the point of maximum deflection so you will be getting the slope will be zero you need to use that and you need to go ahead with problem okay that is theta x is equal to zero at the point where the deflection is maximum slope will be zero okay so then you will be writing theta a minus theta x is equal to area of m by a diagram between those two points a and x so whatever the area is there you need to consider that and solve this you will be getting what is x so x you will be getting 1.6 meters okay from this you will be getting x as 1.6 meters once you get the value of x so then maximum deflection so here you can do this x this point is x dash this point is x double dash so ultimately x x dash is equal to x x double dash from here to here minus x dash x double dash the same problem what we have done in previous classes go through that for reference then again do it okay this is delta max okay so this total x x double dash means what that is something like this triangle you will be getting theta a is known so this is x x double dash the base is known for you then tan theta is equal to this divided by this theta a equal to something like this you will be getting this then what is x dash x double dash it is tangential deviation of x dash with respect to tangent drawn at a according to moment era theorem to find this so once you find this you will be getting delta max the delta max you will be getting it as 2157 0.22 by EI. This is the answer. 2157.22 by EI. Okay. So here E in Newton per mm square given I in 8 into 10 raised to 8 mm raised to 4. So the standard unit of E should be in kilo Newton per meter square i should be in meter is to 4 the product e and i should be in e i should be in kilo newton meter square so convert this into a standard unit so you will be getting after conversion so 1.68 into 10 raised to 5 kilo newton meter square so this is standard after conversion the flexural rigidity the elastic constant product okay so substitute in this maximum slope 600 by ei again you substitute here maximum deflection that is 2157.22 by ei okay so just check it so how much you are getting it might be in terms of 0 0.0 0, 0 0.01 something like that so we have discussed uh, two problems today so this is simply supported with uh, two point loads to calculate uh, maximum slope and maximum deflection so do this then one more that is 
simply supported beam with the o rank portion okay to calculate slope and deflection at the free end okay this is a typical problem please uh, go through this once again so check all the calculations whatever we have written then do it once again okay such that you will be getting the, all the answers correctly just to check so one two three four four triangles okay yes yes okay here please make a correction so this for first triangle half into base into height into perpendicular distance plus for second triangle half into base is 1.2 into height is 15 by e i into distance okay so up to c we are finding so from here to it is two third of two i have written so it is the base of this triangle is 1.2 so this is make a note 1.2 okay two third of 1.2 plus 0.8 okay so make a note of this but the answer are correct okay so go through this problem once again so even you can consider this entire triangle as one so i had given you the standard figures in the beginning so l plus a by 3 l plus b by 3 the cg of the entire triangle something like this if you consider entire triangle cg will be somewhere here so from here to here it is l plus a by 3 from here to here it is l plus b by 3 okay like this this positive triangle and this negative triangle you can consider as only one one instead of writing these all things you can consider only two triangles one positive triangle and one negative triangle but the answer will be same only okay so let us stop it here so with respect to moment era method so almost all the problems we have solved on uh, cantilever beam and simply supported beam with uh, varying moment of inertia and also Eng's modulus and moment of inertia if they are having different value other than the standard okay so go through once again if you are having any difficulty uh, I will be sharing my email address and uh, phone number also you can contact me anytime okay so in next uh, class I will be starting with the uh, conjugate beam method okay in module 3 so one more uh, method is there that is conjugate beam method okay so this moment era method and conjugate beam method both the methods are semi graphical methods means they depend on the bending moment diagram and this calculation okay semi graphical method let us discuss with the moment era method again the cantilever problems and simply supported beam problems okay so we'll stop it here thank you